Good morning. For today's video, our topic is changing improper fraction to mixed number. So last time, we talked about how to change mixed number to improper fraction. Today, improper fraction to mixed number. But before that, let's review and answer the math challenge in our previous video. Change mixed number to improper fraction. 6 and 7 nines. Let's answer. The answer is 61 nines. If you got it correctly, congratulations. Number 2. 1 and 1 tenths. Let us see the answer. If you got 11 tenths, then congratulations. And last, 11 and 3 fourths. Let us see the answer. Okay, the correct answer is 47 fourths. If you got it, then Congratulations! Now, what are the steps in changing improper fraction to mixed number? Step number one. Divide the numerator by its denominator. Step number two. The quotient will be the whole number. The divisor will be the denominator. And the remainder will become the new numerator to form a mixed number. And last, reduce the fraction to its lowest term if possible. Let's have our first example. We have 15 sevenths. The numerator is 15. And the denominator is 7. First step, 15 divided by 7 will give us 2. 2 times 7 will give us 14. And 15 minus 14 will give us 1. So the whole number will be 2. The denominator is 7 and the numerator is 1. So the final answer is 2 and 1, 7. Since the numerator is 1, it means that 1 7 is already in lowest term. Remember, if the numerator of the given fraction is 1, then the fraction itself is in lowest term. Second example, we have 23 fifths. Again, the numerator is 23. And the denominator is 5. Step number 1. 23 divided by 5. So we will give us 4. 4 times 5. So the answer is 20. 23 minus 20. And the answer is 3. So again, the whole number will be 4. The denominator is 
5 and the new numerator is 3. So the final answer is 4 and 3 fifths. Next, 9 halves. First, the numerator is 9 and the denominator is 2. Step number 1. 9 divided by 2 will give us 4. And 4 times 2 will give us 8. 9 minus 8 and the answer is 1. So the whole number is 4. The denominator is 2. And the new numerator is 1. And the final answer is 4 and 1 half. Remember, if the numerator of a given fraction is 1, then the fraction itself is already in lowest term. Now, let's play. Change improper fraction to mixed number. So, the given fraction is 24 sevenths. Your time starts now. Time is up. Now, let's check. The numerator is 24 and the denominator is 7. 24 divided by 7 will give us 3. And 7 times 3 will give us 21. 24 minus 21 will give us 3. So the whole number is 3, the denominator is 7, and the new numerator is 3. So the final answer is 3 and 3, 7. So if we got it correctly, then congratulations! Next, change improper fraction to mixed number. We have 13 fourths. Your time starts now. Time is up. For this number, the numerator is 13 and the denominator is 4. 
So let's divide. 13 divided by 4 will give us 3. 3 times 4, the answer is 12. 13 minus 12 will give us 1. So the whole number is 3, the denominator is 4, and the numerator is 1. So the final answer is 3 and 1 fourths. If you got it correctly, then congratulations. Always remember the steps in changing improper fraction to mixed number are Step 1. Divide the numerator by its denominator. Step number 2. The quotient will be the whole number. The divisor will be the denominator. And the remainder will become the new numerator. And last, reduce the fraction to its lowest term if possible. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!